everyone, welcome to Toy Break. I'm Aileen. I'm George. I'm Nate. I'm Linda Panda. Welcome to the tires. I yeah. know, right? Yeah. Why on earth would you be tired? Stupid Comic Con. <laughs> Stupid Comic Con. Take well, all my energies. We are here to talk about San Diego Comic Con, as we do every year on our annual San Diego Comic Con crap up. Mm. Somebody's got the con crap. I got the con sickness. You okay though? It's not I brought it back with me. Just a little. I Good. ate unhealthily. Is that a word? <laughs> what? I ate terribly. Then didn't you have Phil's barbecue? Yeah, there's a lot of people alive. That's good for you. I think I might need a cough drop. Let's get this going. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, let's tell them what they're watching. You're watching Toy Break, which is your show all about designer vinyl, plush, action figures, all sorts of wonderful things we can bring you in the toy world. This week, and probably for a few more weeks, we are focusing on San Diego Comic Con, which we all just attended as exhibitors and fans. So let's jump right into it. Jumping in. Uh, just, let's just talk about Comic Con this year. It was wonderful. Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con. First of all, most humid year, humid year oh, I've God. ever been yeah. in San Diego. It was draining. It was so hot. Yeah. Luckily, we were inside all day. Yeah. Yes, except when you have to go outside, you know, to like pick up your Mattel order. <laughs> we should address the very first thing, which are these badges. Yes. Tell us about these the badges. enormous badges, which Love I was really thought was going to be a giant hassle. Because they are RFID chipped, you have to scan in and out when you're going in and out the doors. Turns out, apparently, there's been a problem with badge scamming because this year was a lot easier. I'm gonna take this off. Was a lot <laughs> easier to walk around, mm -hmm. and I think it had to do with these badges yeah. only partially keeping people out. Um, also, the amount of things that were outside of Comic Con to do kept a lot of people off the floor, especially preview night. That's true, but there were, I mean, last year there was just as much stuff outside. Not as much, there was no, a little bit more this year, but like, there's always, like, for the past couple of years, there's been a lot of stuff outside. I think... This was the most, though. I think there's really that many people scamming badges. Mm. Probably. Weird. You, well, why don't you tell us about that? Well, what you do when you get your badge is you get six friends, you all go into the con, you give all your badges to one guy, he leaves the con, gets six more, five more people plus him back in... Exactly. And then you get do it again, and you get 30 yeah. people in with I the same badge. I think so many people are doing that, that it was like I never, an extra 30,000 yeah. people I in the really hall. Thought of that. Yeah, I never thought you could do that. But. I mean, they don't really look at your badge once you're in the door. Yeah. One, one thing a lot of people so, used to do is take the badge off. And have the lanyard. And have the lanyard tucked in like a jacket or something. Oh, so they just assume clever. your badge is under your jacket. Dang. So now this time you had to check in, you had to beep. like beep in and then if you were leaving beep out so you couldn't beep out with five badges yeah. Yeah. to get five more people in. But you can still do that now just make sure that people are inside the hall. But if your badge doesn't beep it out beep it won't out, beep though. back in. Oh. And then you can't get in. And they do have people looking so they can't see, like you can't just stand oh. there and beep five badges out. I see. So the only way to get a badge out or to, oh, is yeah. to get back in is to be beep it out, beep back in. Very interesting. Now, it's still, I never beeped out once because if what? you leave after yeah. 7, yeah. you don't That's have hard. to beep out. Yeah. And it just resets the next day, so yeah. you just beep it in the morning. Yeah. Which was so, surprising. Yeah, I thought that was kind of weird. I never had to beep out once. Yeah. One time, we didn't one time I beeped out, it made a really weird, it did not make the normal beep. Mm -hmm. And I was like, uh, I, I was running to go do something else, and I was like, crap, I'm going to have to go talk to them to yeah. reset my badge. It's like, and we're totally fine. Yeah. So I don't know if the beeping out was actually. I don't even know if any if it was a real thing or not. Like it could have just been a fake system. Or yeah. getting us used to it for a year. Yeah. Like it could have just been a fake system to scare people into not yeah. faking badges. It worked. Well, I definitely did notice it was not as chaotic Wednesday through Friday. Yeah. Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday was still. Oh packed. my god. Yeah. Yeah, still Forget crowded. about walking around. It was just. Luckily, insane. they made Funko have their line upstairs that saved our area. Yeah. From a bunch chaos. of ding dongs running. <laughs> so many lines outside. It still happened a little yeah. bit on the Funko, like at the at the times where the new bracelets would be let into the yeah. line, oh, yeah. would cause a bit of a problem. And for some reason, the security people would just spend the whole time walking up and down our aisle, telling people not to stop. <laughs> And like, so you're not to gonna stop. stop and yeah, look like, at your stuff. I was like, you gotta stop telling them that. Yeah. I was like, they're allowed to stop and look at our booth. Like, yeah. you have to stop telling people to not stop in the aisle. Yeah. yeah. So then, by the end, by like Sunday, they were like, don't stop unless you're looking at a booth. <sighs> and they changed it. But yeah. like, dude. So apparently there was, was some so annoying. big thing going on with the security companies this year. Comic Con. Apparently, I don't know all the details. There's more on the Comic Con blog. 
um, something about they hired multiple security companies, mm. and some of them were maybe not as trained as they oh. should be. You could definitely tell because there were. Um, you can get these passes to get. Uh, where, where are they? You can get these worker passes, temporary oh. set of passes, <laughs> to get people in, and like, by well, one day they were like trying to kick people out because they were. We were told it was square. But it's obviously a triangle. It's yeah. Like, it's never... It's it always a triangle. Sometimes it's a circle. But it's like, it's, guys, you're wrong. Look like, at yeah. the this sticker. is the sticker. Yeah. So, like, they, somebody wasn't clear with it. Like, not everybody was getting the there same information. There seemed to be a communication breakdown somewhere yeah. between the multiple. Mm. Outside people, inside people. One of our ribbons fell off, and they were like, no, it's fine. Keep going. Yeah. Really? Yeah. They didn't care I about think that. It's it, just says their a, it says exhibitor on the. You could have went. You could have went and got a new ribbon. Yeah, they, they were very it. serious Oops. about the exhibitor badge is not complete until you get your exhibitor ribbon. Yeah. yeah. Like, okay. But I mean, you're just checking it in the morning, and yeah. you, they know yeah. you're fine. Like, yeah. it's most of the part. It was very pretty bizarre. good. The security was pretty good most of the time, but there were a few instances ours, where it was. I don't like how big miscommunications. This is, yeah. Yeah. Ours was good because they big. were clearing out the Tokidoki line and stuff. Pretty well because people are lingering, yeah, you know, and they pretend to look at our stuff while they're holding a <laughs> Tokidoki <laughs> brochure. brochure. It's like this lady would come through and be like, Keep it moving if you're not buying. She was mm-hmm. awesome, yeah. That happened at the because Roto Fuji was the booth next to us and they were right next to Tokidoki, yeah, and that kept happening to them. Like, people would go into their booth, pretend like they were looking, but they were just looking at their Tokidoki yeah. brochure, really figuring out what they wanted. How rude, yeah. And then, I mean, like, when the line care. would be, they would people are a bunch out. of a holes. <laughs> They really are. Well, they don't real. They don't think about the booth that they're standing in. No. They don't think they, they're no. about them paying three grand to get a booth to sell product. Yeah. Like yeah. they don't think about. No, they're thinking. They're I think spent two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, I want my Toki Doki. That's yeah. all they're yeah. thinking about. So Which yeah, you can't happens. really like. It's not cool on their part, but you can't blame them because they're just not thinking about it. It's, it's not even. Yeah. Well, they yeah, don't know. They're oblivious to their surroundings. Con etiquette. Don't stand in other people's booths unless you're buying or looking. That was funny. At one point, Whitney was telling me um, from Moto Fuji, they had, they were, the security was very much trying to keep the Tokidoki line at yeah. the, like, at the border. Yeah. So that it didn't cross over and block their booth. And then, but the guy who, the security guy that was doing it, inadvertently, he was standing in front of their booth because oh. he was saying, this is the end of the line. Well, yeah. That's and she was like, you're doing a really great job, but... You also have to not be in front of our booth. Yeah. You have to move that way as well. So he had to learn to like go that the way. The furry felines or creative. Yeah. Furry feline creative. They're right next to Toki Doki oh. and across from us. Okay. And so you're on the other side of that, yeah, the Toki Doki booth. Yeah. The lady capping that line was always in front of their banner. Uh, yeah. Which, which sucks for him. Yeah. He should have said, yeah, you move that. Yeah. 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 Because they, yeah, the guy was blocking their display case, and it was like oh it's it's incredibly God. frustrating as as an exhibitor to be there trying to sell something or show off your stuff and have anybody blocking your blocking own. whether they're looking in their bags, yeah, doing doing whatever. Because people do all kinds of. I stuff would love like. to have that problem of having the line though. <laughs> <laughs> Talk yeah, to Patrick. Yeah. Yeah. Serious yeah. about that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Give me the line problem. Yeah. Did you see all the people for Patrick? Yeah, he had a that lot. Was amazing. Oh, that was awesome. He had all the line attendees. Yeah, that was so good. I was so happy for him. Go, I Patrick. Think stole, I think he stole a couple of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it was really cool. I'm very excited Maybe for him. Maybe we'll, someday we'll have a line like that. that we yeah, have to worry we told about. him we were, we would take his class on how to build a line at Comic Con. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He said it would be a 10 minute course, so. So, yeah. Work hard awesome. for ten years, yeah, something like yeah, that. Build your like audience. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Convince Comic Con you need line people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Comic Con also put something interesting on their blog about vendors having their best sales year ever. Oh, really? Interesting. What what vendors? That's the question. <laughs> I mean, was it your best sales year ever? No. It was our best one in a couple years, but combined booth yeah. sales. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Because we Nate and I sh- split a booth this year. Yeah. Economical. Mm-hmm. Smart. Very helpful. I know Skybound had a great year. I think it was their best year. So Skybound it did depends have depends you know, on what you brought and what your yeah, yeah like what yeah. your thing was. Yeah. I think it could go up and down with. Yeah. Audience's whim. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it was as far as the crowds though. I was really impressed with the first couple days where I was able to walk around and actually. Yeah, that was walk. nice. It was really cool. Yeah. Um. What about outside stuff? Did you guys get to do any? No, we never get to you do You guys stuff. went to one thing. Oh, what we went we to that do? bait party. Yeah? How was that? We got free hot dogs. That was yeah, they were delicious. They're from Dog House. Dog House? Dog yeah, House. Yeah, Dog House. Yeah. yeah. And, that place uh, is good. It was really good. We saw, what's his ass, Seth Rogen and 
Danny Power. McBride. Yeah, Danny McBride. Kenny Powers. Kenny Powers. Kenny Powers. That's Kenny so Kenny funny. Powers. Kenny Powers. That's what it is. <laughs> Jesse Hernandez <laughs> saw him walk in, and then he was like, oh my god, that's Kenny fucking Powers. And he like... Kenny, I don't know his name, real name. He just bolted, <laughs> he and like then Jesse was like Jesse chasing, chasing him. him down. I want that photo. It was, <laughs> it was so pretty hilarious. awesome. That's good. And he yeah. didn't get it. No. Oh, he got it eventually. He got it later on. Later in the, on in yeah. the evening. But when, when the hilarious. celebrities come in the first time, they're like they just they want to go it to wherever they have to go, yeah. and then yeah. then they relax and mingle a little bit. Yeah, that's funny. We were there for the hot dogs. So. Yeah, we were good choice. Good choice. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we did that. Thanks, There's, thanks to Eric Fan for letting us yeah. crash his big party. Yeah, so. it seemed like there were a lot of even more than. There's always parties and stuff at Comic Con, but again, even more. Every property seemed to have its own party going yeah. on. Yeah, there, there was, was a lot, a lot rented out. Fifth Street, mm. a lot of storefronts rented out for yeah. full things. Yeah. We got to go to the like Sky Thunder. Skybound dinner. That was nice. Yeah. Yeah. More free food. Yeah. Apparently, that's all you care about. That's all we do. Food. That's the well, party. Well, at the end of to. like a ten-hour day, all you yeah. want is like a nice oh, hot food. meal. Hot food. And free food. I'm, if, I'm if okay it's with free, that. it's even better. <laughs> so. Yeah. But yeah. Um, they had a couple cool things set up outside. They had that. Did you see that South Park? I did. I saw we it from didn't a see it. In, oh, like, it seemed pretty cool. I mean, it was just cardboard cutouts, but yeah. it's cool to see like. A, you That's know, all the show is. Yeah. A big life-size yeah. town of cardboard cutouts, so that was kind of fun. Yeah. Um, Batmobile, of course, as always. The new one. That? I didn't see much of the show. Statues. Not it either. They had a crazy statue over by the Hilton. Um, it was a 25-foot... Do you know that show, The Strain? Oh, that no. I'm surprised. Did they have a statue over there? Yeah, that? it was oh, the Statue of Liberty with the oh, tongue. Oh, oh man, I wish cool. I would have saw uh, that. And they had a poster, and I, don't, I didn't like the poster. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that show was still on after the first season. But hey, cool. Great for them. I haven't watched it yet. Um, it's decent. decent. Uh, but they did a lot of things. Like Wednesday night, there was a line we could see going all the way down the marina. And we were like, what are those people standing in line? It was hours, and they were getting sunburned. And we are like, what oh. are they standing in line for? Is it Pokemon? Wednesday night. <laughs> no, that's what I thought. I was yeah. like, it has to be. They're giving away Pokemon or something. Yeah. It was for Star Trek Beyond. They were doing oh, a the, screening that night. Oh, that's right. oh. On Wednesday night. And I'm like, you people just stood there for a multiple movie. hours getting sunburned, and it's coming out Friday. Yeah. Just go pay six bucks and see it. I, I understand wanting to see it with your Saturday, friends. On yeah, Saturday? That's... You saw it already? Yeah. yeah. Was it good? It was okay. All right. I, I like it. it. There's a Beastie Boys song in there. <laughs> that's all it takes for George. That's all it takes for me <laughs> to not like it. <laughs> I worked on it. It you looked good. Star- I want to see it. Star- I see it. There, track. Track. there are a couple yeah. scenes where it looked like a TV show. Okay. Like, Is not. That yeah, like it didn't look like a film. It looked like, oh, weird. like a fan movie. The same thing happened with Warcraft to me. It's like, huh. or, is it like bad CG. It just it didn't look like a movie. It weird. looked like they, maybe they it was left poor the lighting. filter off. By yeah. Accident. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. So, and for me, the action is too close and chaotic, and you're like, I just want to see stuff. Not. Yeah, they like, need to take a page yeah. out of Daredevil's yeah. choreography. Mm. Daredevil's amazing. Yeah. I don't know. I, I enjoyed it well enough, but it wasn't... Enough to stand in the line? No. Oh, hell no. I'm happy I saw oh, it. Oh, and you didn't necessarily get in. That was just the line. Oh. And then you get up there and you get a ticket that says, yeah, like, yes or no, if you get to see That's it. So, I did see a lot of sunburned oh, people, crazy. like, walking the hall. Well, there was also, like, with the Funko line, like, you oh, had to, fun- like... Funko, Hasbro, Lego... You had to line up ahead of time at night, like, oh, 2 in the morning yes. to get into Funko stuff. Also, with the Conan O'Brien mm-hmm. Funko Pops, like, yeah. you could apparently wait in line for those afterwards. Yeah, like, I thought was, you only got those if you went to the show. If you went to the show and then they made extra that they were, you could go and stand in the line and get. Really? And it was like, you could put your hand in and pick out a ticket and it's either a yes or no. Oh, wow. Whether you get it or not. And people were waiting like it for, like, miles in line. Because Lego's know. been doing it for a few years and I, that system it is just... It doesn't, doesn't appeal to me at all. No. I didn't realize the Conan... Funkos are so appealing. Like I didn't. I think, think really last happened. year they were selling for over three hundred dollars a piece after the show. Wow. So people are now waiting for them because like $300 they're so valuable. Three hundred dollars sunburn. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't know oh, how I feel about that. They, they could have them all. I don't. I don't even care to. I just don't want to waste a convention standing in a line for yeah. something like. Yeah. Even if I want the thing, I'd rather just pay somebody on eBay to get it yeah, for me. Yeah, you pay a little bit more and you got it. Like, yeah. I'll give the guy 20 but bucks on eBay to get the thing for me. You're going to pay $300 for that? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want that anyway, though. Yeah. Okay, well, should we start looking at a few things? Sure. Yeah, so let's get into stuff. I didn't get a ton of stuff, but we're going to do my stuff because I only have a couple bags. Um, so let's see what I got. got on, only a couple bags. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. well, <laughs> while you're pulling them out, I'll show I got my I Met oh, yeah. Tanya Tata Comic Con uh, button. I didn't get one of those. Uh, and I got a 
Right, flat so body button. Oh, nice. that's cute. The little bear, the bunny bat one. I got an OTMFG button, which you can pick up from me somehow. Wait, at some so point. you got that from October yourself? Toys.com? I got that from myself from OctoberToys.com. Um, I got Ben got me this uh, the voice. glitter Skeletor. 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 Oh, and then I got the, oh, the Luke Chu sandwich. Pin. I thought it was like half that size. It yeah. is a big pin. Does it have two or one? Just one on that one. Okay. Flat Bonnie always puts two though. She's I, got, think, yeah. I think I think they do that so that it doesn't fall so it doesn't off. rotate yeah. and rotate. But I think mainly because they're afraid that people might lose their picks, mm. which is very Speaking thoughtful. Flat Bonnie. I got the Oh, other. I got that one oh, too. Nice. It's oh, the cutest yeah. one ever. It's the sweetest. Little otter. Little otter. He's nice. eating it off of his stomach. That is the heart of his enemy, and he's <laughs> eating it. Oh, okay. Is that not? No, is that not right? I, I got a hot dog oh, guy keychain. Nice. Ooh. Oh, nice cute. <laughs> is that an is honor of an sausage? Exclusive? I haven't opened these yet. Actually. Well, what are these posters? So, I actually don't know what they are. So I went over to the. I really wanted to go to the 3A booth because I wanted to pick up an older piece that they had, which I will show you right now. Which is the Judge Dreth, oh. if you remember that. I'll just leave that on there. Wow. But Did you get this free? You didn't buy yeah, this. so hold on, hold on. So Judge Death, everybody, you, you remember that? That came out a while ago, but so I wanted to go pick that up. And I walked right up to the booth preview night. There was no line. It was the quickest, easiest transaction I've ever had at Comic-Con. They handed me this great bag, and I haven't even opened the posters yet. How so I don't even this? know what these posters are. Uh, that was 60. And they totally had plenty of stock, and they were super nice, and... Awesome. Oh, I like that. What's that? Um, a girl on a robot, I think. Here, let me hold it yeah. this way and they can see. <laughs> it's pretty nice. That's a cool figure, right? 60 yeah. bones, those. And there's two versions there's the colored one and the black and white. Oh, sorry. Alright, well. Let me see that one again. I thought it was cool that I got like extra stuff. For yeah. I mean, it's nice of them to give. These are pretty high quality posters. Yeah, yeah. these are nice. That one's super bizarre. <laughs> yeah, that one's crazy. What like it. the heck? It looks like broccoli, but with a bunch of heads. Oh, it's just, is this like that? What's that guy? The robot and the little boy. Yeah. This is oh. a cartoon. Rusty and something. Rusty and boy robot or something like that. That's cool. Got free posters, guys. And a nice reusable bag. The world so needs fun. more Judge Dread. Please make more movies, TV show, I anything. agree. More Dread. More Dread. Yeah, yeah. yeah re do another one of those movies. Carl Orman, get on it. He's <laughs> trying. They're trying. You don't think he wants that too? I would totally. <laughs> I would, another paycheck? Come on. I would watch that a thousand times. That was a great movie. That. that was a great movie. Speaking of so Star I got, Wars. yeah, so I got the... <laughs> Hulk? Are you gonna bring yours out? Because you already opened yours. I already opened mine. We can we can show it online if you want it. to show it here, just, and then we'll so look at the, it closer on my episode. The from Mattel, the Hot Wheels this year was Spock with his well Leonard Nimoy dressed up as Spock, uh -huh. tiny version with his Riviera, which is from a famous photo uh, uh, when Star Trek started. But George already has his open, so we'll just we'll look at go it with his on that episode. It was like an on-set photo because he would drive this car to set every day yeah. and he was just hanging out on set like leaning against the car it's and a, someone snapped the picture. Oh, it was apparently also cool. the first thing he bought with like his Star Trek money. Oh, oh, nice. Like when he signed the yeah. on Star Trek. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Um, oh hey a water bottle. Oh. What are these? We'll take it all out. We're going to look at um, all of it. I got this. Is over here's blind bag. Blind box time. I got that at the Mattel booth. <laughs> open that? Sure. Let's see what it is. It's a mighty mini. Uh, well, you walk by, they're like, do you want a free bag? Like, yeah. What, uh, what brand? Uh, Mattel. This is a Mattel, WWE. WWE. Uh, is this guy suing the WWE? Why would he do that? Because there's a bunch of wrestlers that are suing the WWF slash WWE. There are? Oh, for um, injuries? Like, yeah. I heard Jimmy Fly snooker. Yeah, they don't really? provide retirement, and all these oh, guys are getting, like, head dang. injuries, and they don't have, like, proper insurance, or I don't know, something. Too they didn't know that late. jumping and pounding on each other was going to hurt them in the future? <laughs> well, they did it too much, and they can't remember. So this Seems is like somebody. No yeah. note of who it Captain is. Captain Generic. Yeah. It's probably this guy. It's the most generic dude. Uh, yeah, sure, okay. It was super funny. Some guy <laughs> in front of me, because, you know, Mattel has the little, like, basket out, and then they have, like, a girl standing there. Sorry, it's usually a girl. Standing there, like, yeah. handing him out. And she was handing him out, and one guy, like, reached in before she could hand him one, and she's like, you can have that. That's okay. And then he was like, well, what's in here? After taking it, and she's like, a little person, like a little guy. Oh like, what my. do you think, guy? Like, what a rude you're randomly ass. taking free, whatever. Ugh. People are rude. People yeah. are rude. People are 
Um, that is terrible. Got a Han Cholo air freshener. <laughs> did you pay for that? I did not. That was a, a freebie. freebie. Um, Han Cholo actually makes amazing jewelry. I believe he will be at Designer Con. Oh. And probably you could check on his site for other cons or where else to find his his goods, but he had that amazing, you may have seen it on social media, that Battle Cat uh -huh. ring that had two pieces. Oh. Is, he, is that the guy that made the Lucille bat last year? Yeah, is that Hancholo? that's Hancholo. Okay. Really gorgeous stuff, really worth looking at for, mm. for jewelry and interesting pieces. Uh, that was a free, yeah, I don't know what. <laughs> I do like when Comic-Con exclusives have the Comic-Con you know, logo. logo yeah. print. Or they had to get permission. And you I'm always sure have to, I think. For it's Mattel, I'm well, sure they like Yeah, for the, put it on the figure is a big difference than putting it on the bag. Yeah. Because putting it on the bag, no problem. And it's on both. Mm. Yeah. It's on the bag and printed on the figure yeah. shirt. And that's a freebie. It's just a different licensing deal. Yeah. But it doesn't say 2016. It just has the logo. Yeah. Which is weird. It does say 2016 on the bag, though. I know they've done it on fi on yeah. wrestlers before. I think there was a Black Widow pin. That's cool. Where'd you get all this free stuff? Dude, I never you walked down the book aisles, mm. which is what I was about to say. So my mom and my friend Jenny, <laughs> hashtag Team Squee, uh, we they were walking down. We do have a hashtag. We were walking down the book aisles, and there's mm -hmm. like, they were kind of like some of the coolest aisles this year. So this was just a free one. This was stand in line, spin a wheel, and you get one of their free books. Oh wow! wow. But it's cool because it's an uncorrected proof, not for sale. And they have a, they had a bunch of them. This was the company that did Lock and Key. But like, cool, free book. I'm probably gonna like it. Like, yeah. That's, I like a nice, other stuff. that's a nice pin. That's a free pin. Yeah. I don't know where the other pin... I did get a Game of Thrones pin. I don't know where it went. Maybe it went in my backpack. Could and be I'm, in here, maybe. Oh. Um, could be. But to get the Game of Thrones pin, mm -hmm. it was super cool. Um, it was at the booth that's doing the Game of Thrones Clue uh -huh. game. Yeah. They, also, they, they do, uh, like, USAopoly. They do all those... Yeah. The different game things. So they had a table set up um, with all these, like, props on it. Mm-hmm. And what you had to do was wait in line, and they gave you this little card with six characters from Game of Thrones. And you had to look at all the stuff on the table and figure out which character was not represented. Oh. And then you walk through the line, you figure it out with your friends, and then you get, like, a free pin at the end. Uh-huh. And it was, like, it was so dumb because, like, you just get a crappy little pin. Yeah. But it was so much fun and huh. so quick. And yeah. it was, like, a very refreshing little, like, ooh. I'm not going to tell. Oh, I guess they can't play it anymore anyway. Yeah. It was Peter Baelish. Yeah. <laughs> But it was really cool, and it was cool just to see the setup. And it kind of seemed yeah. obvious that Have those interactive. Same... How? Because I circled it? Yeah. No, because he's like a... <laughs> he's like the shady character. But this yeah, is, but they... I don't know. This is a weird bio line. It's for the author Emma Tre Trevain. She has lived in Canada, England, and the United States. Like, is that relevant to her writing? Like... Yeah. Yeah. Well, I haven't read it yet. Maybe she's worldly. Like, Maybe it takes place in Canada, oh, England, and she's lived in three places. Ooh. That all speak <laughs> Yeah, like, who cares? Linda, you should read this. This is a good... Aw, I should have a cookie. Sheldon, and it says, do you, should you have a cookie? And oh, should I have a cookie? Chart. You can see where they all end up, though. Do you, do you have a cookie? Yes. They all end up in cookie. Yes. What's this? What's this? I'm not gonna that. Okay, so I, I, we've already had this on the show, but I wanted to go get another copy of um, Alex Party's Doppelgangers. And the reason I picked up the book was because Alex I like all awesome. the art. Alex is amazing. But also, what I wanted to mention was not necessarily the book, which I'm sure you can still go by, was something that he just did that poster, which was all the characters. I think by the time this airs, though, that poster's gone. No, no, no. no the poster's available. gone. So you can't, unfortunately, it was a timed <laughs> poster, but. What I was going to say was, this is another one of those weird things where it was cool that he made it... Oh, yeah, go for it. Um, it wasn't just a con exclusive. It was available online, but only for a limited time. So this is another reason. It's like, hey, follow those artists that you really like, mm. or follow those things. And it was... He did a bonus if you picked it up at Comic-Con. Yes. That you couldn't get if you ordered it online, which was kind of cool. Like, a little extra something for the people that pay all that money to get to Comic-Con. Mm. Yeah. But I like that he, he did make it available offline. Yeah. Which, weirdly, Mattel also had... Yeah, that was, kind of, that? that was kind of messed up, I think. Because I had kind to annoying, walk right? across the whole convention center. and Between certain hours, yeah. on certain days. Oh, uh, yeah. And That's pick rough. up one toy, because I only got one. Uh, or it could have been shipped to my house. I would have shipped it to my house. I would have shipped it to my house. Was that free? Carry it. The shipping? I, would, I would have paid shipping. No. Yeah. Rather than waste an hour and a half going in. That's true. Especially when you should be at your booth, yeah. you know, like interacting so with tell. your fans. 
Suck it. And they have their Suck nice three-hour yeah. lunch break. Yeah. Yeah. In the middle. Then you Why can't do, you do anything on Sunday. Like no. you guys are the laziest. And it's they didn't lazy to me. But I'm sure it's hard work. But mm. I'm, all work is hard in some way. But also like us subscribers. As subscribers, I feel like we should have been told ahead of time when the pre-sale went up. Yeah. There will also be a sale online. Yeah, for sure. But we didn't know that was going to be an option. Yeah. I was like, oh crap, i got to haul my ass to Comic-Con. Yeah. Although some of the stuff wasn't available during the sale online. I just realized, can you pick up your Mattel stuff if you don't have a Comic-Con badge? You can, because it's off-site, right? Yeah, and they don't check. Yeah, so I you could just order it and go pick stuff up. If you were going to be in San Diego for some reason. I never thought about that. If you live there. But you know, if you couldn't if get you want to pay for parking down in that Ugh. mess. Okay, so of robots. I got what? one more cool thing. What is this? And then one more other thing to talk about. So our dear friends over at Museum of Robots, uh, you can also find them at other wonderful robots. conventions during the year. They make really cool like jewelry and other decor type things. Just lots of interesting products, mostly jewelry. Um, really cool like ray gun necklaces mm. and stuff like that. Really cool. Uh, they just got... Are they involved with Gallery Nucleus? Isn't that the Gallery Nucleus logo? It looks similar, but they are not. Huh. Um, okay. So they have the Penny Dreadful license mm. for like, they have all these cool pillows. But they just got the Terminator license. Oh, that's cool. License. Oh, let's see. Yeah, go for that, open that up. Get your sickness all over it. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm just kidding. Just you can. At it. I'm kidding. You can look at it. I'm but I had, I had to go support, and grab. Get out of there. So first, feel this. Ooh. It feels pretty heavy. And it's, it's like got like legit. little like stones for eyes. Yeah. So it That's is. It's pretty nice. Just um, don't like lean forward and then get back <laughs> up. You're gonna like really smash your. You're gonna spit yourself <laughs> yeah. in the sternum. Uh, rhodium finish, plated pewter charm, matching chain, Swarovski crystal eyes. Wow. Oh, that's pretty nice. And it's like super rhodium. well made. Ooh. Rhodium. And it's like super rhodium. well made. I'm kind of in love with this. And that's I was like, cool. I have to buy it now. And they're going to make more products. Wear How much? It. Wear, oh, wear it. Also. Wear this one was 60. Thank you. Hey. But <laughs> also look at the printing, the type on here. That says Museum of Robots, oh. and that says Terminator. Like I don't even know how they made it that small. That's, That's cool. cool. Can you see that? Yeah. Tiny. Can you see that? I just I want them to. I thought they oh, would write like. Oh. Like a little space. Oh. oh I want them to fit. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. That's it's cool. cool. So you can just shorten the chain. I don't know. I kind of like the long. But even if you don't wear it, it's mm. kind of a rad decoration. Like. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> Alright, anyway, we have one more thing. This is really cool, museumofrobots.com. I thought it was cool they got a Terminator license. Um, so we did something else! What'd we do? We had a panel! Yay, panel! We had a panel! Yeah, I think this is our fourth one. Oh. Second one I was on. Second one for you. I think we've done four. I think we did panel. more for some reason. I don't remember. Four or five. Just feels like more. Uh, so Thursday night we had our independent toy designers pants to pajamas. Yeah. And in case people were wondering, I think the name a lot of people got it, but some of them may not have. Uh, I think they clued in later. Yeah. But the point of the discussion of this. Sorry about the name, Corn Boy. Did he not like it? He hated it. Why? <laughs> it's so accurate, though. Right. Yeah. He wears pants every day because he goes to a shop. He works yeah. like. He could wear oh. pajamas. He, maybe he wasn't the right guy on this panel because he kind of goes he's, to a shop and doesn't. Oh, he was. Yeah. He yeah. has more like even though it's their shop. Yeah. He's still getting dressed still to go to. Right. He's like, I get dressed every choice. day to go to work. Yeah, I have to get dressed. Choice. Sorry, corn boy. Pants to pants. George came up with that part. Anyway, uh, kind of the goal was talking about people like Linda and Nate and George and people who've worked at larger toy companies uh, like McFarlane and Spin, Spin Master. Master and all sorts of... Uh, corn boy used to work at McFarlane also and then went off to do Four Horsemen. Uh, and then we had Megan Rothrock who used to work at Lego and now does her own uh, design and freelance uh, work. But what's interesting is taking that experience from the corporate or you know, more structured, large environment oh, setting corporate. and move it down into from where you wear pants every day into <laughs> where you work at home for yourself and you can wear your pajamas if you want. Or you yeah. work in a shop and you wear your pants still. Sorry, yeah. Corn Boy. Corn wear, wear pajamas. <sighs> Just give it a shot. Pajamas. Eric and Jim don't care. Jim will make fun of you, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> he did, he's not on Instagram. It's fine. <laughs> it's <okay. laughs> Jim's not on Instagram, right? I don't think so. That would be terrifying. Uh, anyway, I think the panel went really well. Uh, as usual, we had it uh, from 8 to 9, which is after hours, which we are competing with a lot of other things mm -hmm. at the con, but we still had 50 or more people in the room, so I think we had a, I felt like it was a really yeah. good panel. Mm -hmm. You guys all sounded super intelligent, by Aww. the way. So smart. 
I don't know what happened. That we could time. With, like, Four years. Very unexpected. <laughs> no energy at the end of yeah, the night. Yeah, just a zombie up there. Yeah, I thought it was really cool. I think we had some really great questions too yeah. from the audience. Yeah. They were uh, they were really into like the people that were there were into being there and into yeah. learning and about this stuff. They wanted to be in the toy industry. Yeah, they cool. wanted to know about the toy industry stuff. So yeah. it was cool to have the questions that were relevant to what we were talking I about. I think a lot of the questions relate to like making toys though. Yeah. Like, which I don't like make toys. Like, I design them mm -hmm. and I do a lot of conceptual stuff and styling stuff. So, but yeah, I think for the You'll most part, there. people want to. I don't really want to make. I'm going to sculpt your little panda and we're okay. going to make it. Okay. Oh, apparently you don't have a choice. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> So yeah. that went really well. So thank you to everyone who came out to the panel. We did not record it this year. Mm -hmm. However, if anybody in the panel did record it and post it, do let us know. We'd love to share a link with everybody I did else. see Toothless recording it in the front oh, row. Oh, yeah, I did see he that. He had his square camera going. Yeah. I don't know if it has sound, though. Oh, why would you what? record it without well, sound? That well, that would be boring. silly. Like, you just <laughs> want to see our faces moving? Yeah, maybe. A bunch of maybe, jerks maybe, sitting maybe. in a chair. No, no, maybe it does have sound. I hope it does. Well, yeah. Toothless, if you've got it and you posted it, let us know. We'll yeah. get a link to it. That dude's yeah. a wild man. He is wild. wild. <laughs> I think you mean wildly awesome. Yeah. He was he was hawking shirts on yeah. the sidewalk just trying to make money. Yeah. He's Dude. a hustler. Definitely. Hustle. Yeah. That's cool. That's good. Yeah, Hashtag that's really good. do work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so that wraps up my pretty much all my cool. crap, I think. So I didn't go too crazy at Comic Con. I kind of spent my money on you, yeah. fancy jewelry. And you got that sixty dollar. I know. I know. Yeah, it seemed like sixty dollar no, was your magic price point. I got a lot of cool things. I got yeah. Thing. I got art. I got. You only bought things stuff. that were sixty dollars. <laughs> I only. <laughs> it's either sixty bucks or free. Exactly. <laughs> what do you think about them doing a concave blister? I don't. I, I, don't, I feel like it, it's weird. It cheap. Well, it, it, it does kind of cheap. It blocks it. the figure more than a. a well, like a all those one. highlights. Yeah, like, it really makes it harder really... to see the figure. But that's right? also what goes on the inside of a blister. That's what should like, be yeah, exactly. That's what should be on the doing? inside. Maybe they're encouraging they, I you think to there open are it. two blisters. I see another yeah, one he's, in there. Yeah, he's essentially clamshelled in there. I think. Yeah, I think so. Maybe yeah. it's just so it doesn't get all scratched or anything. I don't know. I don't know. For me, I don't. I personally. I think it looks cheap like that. I like the look of a regular blister. Yeah. When it's already on a bigger so card that looks like an oh, actual figure card. The, yeah. the figure needs to breathe. I know he's not alive, but he needs some air to, you know. Yeah. Or it's going to stay. Can you open it? Kind of trap death in there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we'll call that a wrap on episode one of our Comic-Con crap-up, but we still have so much more to get to, so please sure. tune in next week for the, the haul from these guys, and yeah. we'll do some more Comic-Con chatting. And uh, thanks for tuning in to Toy Break. Don't forget, as always, you can go to toybreak.com and get links to, you know, like Museum of Robots and these guys Robots. and Alex Party and all these wonderful things. You can email us, info at toybreak.com. You can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak. You can... Do whatever subscribe. you want to do. <laughs> you can Move over, butter. Here comes something leaner. <laughs> <laughs> you can subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash toy break. You can follow us at toy break. You can follow me at Aileen Gaspar. I'm at George Gaspar on Twitter and at Couch Grouch on Instagram. And also you can tune into the Marsham Toy Hour to hear me. If you didn't hear my previous episode, I am a returning guest for Ooh. some at some point, maybe this week or something like that. So check them out on iTunes. So By the download way. it. Uh, that first episode, mm -hmm. I think, went really well. Like, you sounded really professional. Like, you know what you're talking about. I sometimes know what I'm talking about. I you know that moment so. in... Um, I don't think so either. Do you know that moment in old school when Will Ferrell blanks out and, like, he... I think that's what really happened. Articulate? I think that's what happened. I blanked out for an hour, <laughs> and, and then I came and back, like, and I was huh? like, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, go listen to that. Download Marsham Toy Hour. Um, it's a good show. They talk about stuff that, you know, same kind of stuff that we're talking about, except it's audio only, so you don't have to stare at our stupid faces. Well, you can drive and listen to it. Exactly. Faces. Link in the show notes. You guys? At Squid Kids Inc. At Linda Panda. So easy. Yeah. Thank you so much. So easy. Aww, All right, well, we were, are going to stay on the couch and uh, talk some more Comic Con, and we will see you guys very soon. Stay tuned. Bye. Bye. <laughs>